Hello and welcome to Road Gear Reviews. I'm Josh from the Freedom Theory and today we're reviewing the Lasso Kayak Lock with the Kong Cable from LassoSecurityCables.com. Now if you're wondering what a lasso lock is, it's probably what you're envisioning right now. It's two lasso cables, as you can see here, each end slides over the kayak, one end of the kayak, and in between them there's a long cable that secures the two together. Now it almost feels like a uh, cable that you would get for your bike, perhaps a bike lock, but in this case it's made from very strong aircraft quality galvanized steel, and the Kong cable is one half inch. Now Lasso Security Cables does make other products for different length kayaks, and this particular one is made for kayaks up to 16 feet in length, or for stand-up paddle boards, touring kayaks, sit-on-top kayaks, anything of that nature. But if you have a different type kayak, or even if you don't, you may want to get on LassoSecurityCables.com and look at their other products and make sure that you pick the one that's right for you. And now let's go ahead and show you how this works. Now this is one of our two kayaks and it's mounted, as you can see, to the roof of our truck on the Yakima rack. Now, every kayak is going to be a little bit different, so uh, considering the length of the cable, your kayak may be a little longer, it may be a little shorter, so you're going to have to play with it to get the length exactly right. But the key is, these two lassos on either end have to be pulled taut by the cable in the middle. There can't be any room if somebody wiggles the kayak or jiggles it for them to slide one cable off the end. It has to be kept nice and secure. So the best way to do that, as you can see here, I've taken one end of it, I've taken the lasso lock. And now the way that I've done it for our vehicle is I obviously looped one end of the lasso lock around one end of the kayak, one end around the other. Then I took this end, I looped it around the kayak itself. This end I looped through the roof rack I pulled them taut together and then I wrapped them as tight as I could get them and just snapped the locks together. It has this nice combination lock here, but it also has, and this is unique to the con cable, it also can be locked and unlocked with a key. And the key hole is covered up by this little sliding mechanism and that keeps sand and water and everything out of your lock as you travel and as you take your kayak to all the places that you want to go. So you can either set the combination lock or you can use the key, or ideally you could use both in case your key falls in the water or you forget it. And then you can lock your kayak up securely wherever you go. So as I mentioned, you can also use the lasso security lock to lock your kayak to something on the ground. Now that can be a little bit trickier because it's really designed to go around a roof rack. So you may have to find exactly what works for you. Now normally what we do is we lock our kayaks around the stabilizer jacks on the RV but in this case, in order to make it a little bit easier to film, I took it and I locked it around a picnic table. Now again, the key is to make sure that these two lassos are very taut together. There's different ways that you can do that. Every kayak's a little different. Ours was kind of at an inconvenient length. I'm referring to the kayak, not the cable. They were a little bit too long to actually just loop the cables through and connect them together and they were a little bit too short to just, or a little bit too thick to just wrap the cables around that way. So I cheated a little bit and I used the bike lock. So I got these two cables taunt together, wrapped them around the picnic table, and then I locked the bike lock here. And it, so as you can see, you can slide it back and forth, but you can never get enough slack on either end to really be able to get the lasso off. Now, as I said, we like to lock these under the RV, but uh, I wanted to demonstrate how you can use this in different uh, positions. One thing that we did discover is that you really need to be able to, if you're locking this to something on the ground, you really need to be able to get the cables as I did. You see that they're both looped around the picnic table. If you just loop it around one single thing like a tree, then you can just slide the kayak around and you don't want to be able to do that. So you need to be able to, again, to get uh, the two lassos taut together and then wrapped around something. So one final thing that I'd really like to stress is the versatility. This can be very handy not just to protect your RV, but in strong winds. So when we were up in Alaska last summer, we were camped for a couple of weeks right beside the Turnagain Arm, which the Turnagain Arm is a waterway in Alaska. It comes in by Anchorage and kind of goes in like this. And so the Turnagain Arm has very high tides. It also has very strong winds. 
the winds can reach up to over 100 miles an hour. Thankfully, they didn't get that high while we were there, but it was common to see winds that were 60 miles an hour, uh, 40 to 60 miles an hour. So we would have our kayaks under the RV. We would leave and go somewhere and we'd come back and our kayaks would be in front of the RV because they blew out from underneath. You don't want to have that happening. So even if you're not worried about security, just the versatility of the kayak lock can be handy for keeping your kayaks from floating or blowing away. So this has been a review of the Lasso Security Lock from LassoSecurityCables.com. Again, go to their website. They have a lot of different options, a lot of different links, a lot of different cable types. This is the one with the Kong cable, but like I said, they make ones for all sorts of stand-up paddle boards, kayaks, canoes, pretty much any type of boat like that that you can imagine. We highly recommend it. We love ours, and we recommend that you go to Lasso Security Cables and check it out this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for weekly reviews. I put all of the information on this down in the links below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.